Hey everyone, how's everybody making out this morning? Tuesday morning here, guys. 8.30 a.m. I gotta admit, I'm a little tired this morning. Uh, I don't know what it is, but having a little trouble getting started this morning here. Anyway, uh, no better way to do that than uh, fire up a, a good knife uh, video, huh? This is my collection of uh, buck folders that I've been trying to, uh, I've been picking up. And I said in the beginning of this year, um, I said I was going to try and concentrate on my buck collection because it fell way, way off and I haven't picked up a buck in a long time. Um, and then uh, the group of guys started uh really, really talking about bucks and, 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 and getting into bucks. And I've always liked them, you know what I mean? Um, but for one reason or another, I just stopped getting them because, well, you're always on to, you know, this piece, that piece, and you're all kind of all over, you get, you, you tend to get all over the place. And that's exactly what I've done. Uh, I'm trying to correct all that. But watching Tom from Knife Delights and, and, and all these other content creators, they really were hitting this buck, uh, talking about bucks really hard, and they get, get, got me into the buck bug. Really, that's exactly what happened. That is, I mean, exactly what happened. Um, so I already wanted to get back into bucks. So it didn't take me long after listening to these guys talk about buck knives to that that really that really uh sparked my interest to move forward with getting more of this collection going. So yeah, that's exactly what happened. So I started picking up a couple knives. I got these two here, I got this custom buck here, and I've got this Smoky Mountain Knife Works exclusive here, and now I just picked up this one. I got this 112 not that long ago. So in a, I mean, pretty short period amount of time, I've acquired four, four knives. These four right here. These two are old, older knives. They, I've had them. So the newest one to the collection, and I think that you guys are going to want to hear this and stick around for this, um, is this new Buck um, 110 this new Buck 110 in burlap, micarta, and 5160 steel. Now, um, I am going to tell you right now without without dragging this on and, and, and getting all, uh, you know, I'm just going to put it out there. I think that I like this one better, better than these two right here that were almost double the money. Something about this one is just really speaking to me. I know, I, I can't explain it. You've got this beautiful burlap micarta. I really, really like these bolsters. These are brushed bolsters versus the shiny uh, bolsters that you get here. Um, I like these brush bolsters so much, I'm thinking about getting some fi very fine sandpaper at a very high grit and sanding these bolsters on this one to make it um, like this, brushed. I mean, I think it would look a lot better a lot better that high shine on these bolsters now that i look at it and I, i'm evaluating it i i can already say i really don't like it i never thought about it before i thought that that was as normal but after seeing the way they did it on this oh man brush bolsters are are, are the way to go you know brush bolsters are very cool looking in my opinion in my opinion um, I think that I like this one out of all of them, hands down. I mean, that's just me, you know what I mean? These, this is rugged. You can, you can really 
tear this thing up. It's got this strong micarta, this burlap micarta. I mean, it's just, you know, it ain't got no fancy stuff on it. And that's me, you know what I mean? It, it's just bare bones, pretty much. This knife is just bare bones, balls to the wall, ready to rock and roll, man. Um, you got this, like I said, the brush bolsters, this 5160 steel, which I, guys, this, just think about something. I'll mention the word again, patina, right? We've been hearing that word a lot, patina, 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 patina. <laughs> um, this is going to look awesome with a, a, a nice dark, um, uh finish on it how it how that patina just gets that nice dark finish on it right that blade is just gonna look sick once this really develops a good good patina the, right um with this uh burlap my card and this brush uh bolsters and stuff this knife is gonna look oh uh, just i can't even explain it I can't even explain. I'm so excited. That's the main reason why. That's the main reason why I decided to pull the trigger so quick when I saw this thing. I mean, it took me seconds to pull the trigger. You want to know why? Because I think, in my opinion, it, it's just my opinion, that this knife is definitely, definitely worth $130. I, I mean, I would have paid... I mean, I would have paid $200 for this knife. This knife is worth $200 easy. It is is, is worth, this is a $200 plus dollar knife here, guys. Um, I don't think it's cheap by no means $130, but I said previously, I said um, it was only $130. I, I, I didn't mean it like that. I know it came across like, you know, it was a spit in a bucket. But for $130, this is a steal. I'm, I got to stick to it. You know what I mean? I got to put my feelings out there. I have to call it as I, as I see it. And for $130, whoever picked up one of these got a deal. I'm just saying. That's my opinion. These knives here, this is a $200 plus dollar knife. This is over $200, right? What's so much better about this one? You get bone? What well, will you get so much better? Let's compare it real quick. And the other one. This is uh, S30. That's right. This is only standard S30. That's all it is. This is $200 plus. Over $200 with tax, right? This here, $130. 130. I mean, come on. You got uh, triple the better steel on this. 5160 um, S30. Come on. No comparison, right? This is going to take a fantastic patina. It's just a better, it's just better all around. Anyway, that's that one. This knife, this knife is a Smoking Mountain Knife Works exclusive. And it's $350. $350. I don't think it's worth $350. I don't think that this knife is worth $350. You're only getting Rich Light covers, okay? I don't even know much about Rich Light, all right? As far as I know, it's a paper, it's a, it's a, it's a uh, paper, it's basically a paper material, and the steel on this one, you get a little bit better of a steel on this one. It's S45. But still, all in all, do you think that this knife is worth $350? I think, in my opinion, I paid $350 for this knife for the steel. Because that is the only thing... That makes this knife worth any kind of money. It's not the covers. It's not these covers. I I don't know what makes the knife worth $350. I don't know what gets it to that point. 
So, um, for me to say that this knife is worth 130, yeah, yes, you are getting a whole lot of knife here for $130. I would have paid 200 for it. I would have paid 200. I really would have. Anyway, let's take a look around it. You do, that's going to be normal. I know that Thrifty Kniffy also got one of these, so I'm curious on what he's going to have to say about this. Um, I'd like to see his uh, fit and finish on his. That's why I'm trying to give you some close-ups. You do have some gapping back here, but that's, I mean, that's pretty much normal for a lock back. You're going to have that. You're going to have that. Um... You got the steel here, like I said, the 5160, which is going to take a fan. I can't wait till this starts developing in patina. Oh, man. This thing is going to look great. Brushed bolsters here. We already talked about the brushed bolsters, how well we like that, how well I like them. Um, Just a great piece. I mean, I think it's just a, a, a fantastic uh, piece. Now, when I close the blade, I do kind of move the blade over. It's got a little play in it. So if you open and close your blade and it's off center, like when I first got mine, I was like, oh, oh you got to be kidding me. The blade has play in it. It just does have play in it. And it moves around a little bit, you know. Um, so it is what it is. You know what I mean? But I move it over and center it because that's the way I do it. <laughs> oh, man. But anyway, all in all, uh, first impressions, man, I am really, really digging this. Very happy. Very, very happy. And like I said, I'm very curious about Thrifty uh, Kniffy's, um first impressions on this. I really want to know what he thinks about this piece. And I want to see his fit and finish on his as well. Um, the grind lines, no uh, play in the blade, which if it did, I, it would have went right back. I hate playing a blade. Um, the grind lines are, are pretty good. I mean, nothing for me to uh, get worried about or anything. They're pretty even on both sides. You know, it, it's, it, it's good enough. I didn't even do my own touch-up yet on this blade. I didn't even do my own touch-up, but I just want to give you a shot at the grind line. It's not real bad. Sometimes it gets real wide at the tip. I hate that, man. It looks so ugly. This one's a little thin at the tip. This one comes, it gets a little wide at the belly, and then it comes up and in and gets real thin at the tip. See the grind on it? No big deal. I, I ain't worried about that. But all in all, uh, to keep this, uh, to um, try and end this here, um, I really, really, I'm, I'm impressed. And I really, really like this a lot. And if you, I don't think that they're still available. I really don't think that they're still available. But if they are, I mean, for like I said, for what you're paying, 130 bucks is a fantastic price for this knife. I, I, I'm i telling you, it's a 200 plus dollar knife, in my opinion. And I'm glad they picked it up for the 130. I'm, I'm stoked. I am stoked on the money I paid for this piece. It's a great, great piece. A lot, uh, lot of knife here. A lot, a lot of knife, man. All right, guys, uh, I guess that's it. Um, if you want to, you can uh, kindly leave a comment and I'll uh, get back to you guys. Be good, be well, be safe, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.